right guys, welcome back. Another Saturday morning. It is almost 8 a.m. It's like uh, 10 to 8. This is the first sale of the day and the one sale. There was another actual sale at 8 a.m. but they didn't have any video games. I had emailed them so um, these guys I don't know. So we're going to find out before we start hitting the 9 a.m. sales. Morning. Are those all the games that you have? Or do you, is there yeah, any other? Yeah, some of them already went. So. Oh, yeah. some of them already went. Oh, you know, that's kind of what goes first. Okay. <laughs> as soon as you're out there, there's people come and get them. Cool. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks, I'll take a look. Hi, Don't have any other N64 games, do you? Oh, no, that's it. Not the system? What? Don't have the system. Which we're looking for for your games. Does that include this, or? Uh, How much is that? No, that one's Did you do 25 for this stuff? Um, Give me a little bit of a deal since I'm buying a bit more. Sure. Yeah. Sounds good. Here you go, man. Thank you. <laughs> Likewise. So that's all the video game stuff you have? No other stuff? No. Cool, man. Thanks. You too. Morning. Hey, how's it going? Not bad. You can buy them individually or that's a whole lot if you want. How much were you asking? Uh, for the Wii unit or for everything? For everything. I'd take uh, 40 bucks for the whole thing. 
Do you know if the Mario is in the system? Um, so it's, ooh. Yeah, because this one is... It might be. There's a good chance that it could be. Take 30 bucks and I'll take it all from you. I don't know if the Mario is in there, but we'll I'll take a look when the time comes. <laughs> It'll be a surprise. Yeah. camera died on me um, I need to charge it just want to show you guys uh, the sale they just did I was there for a few minutes got everything here for 25 bucks um, obviously I'll show you guys on the, on the post but look at that man Pokemon crystal for a dollar um, but yeah I get everything here for 25 bucks I saw these ten dollar price tags and I was like whoa and then you're like no 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 that's that's not the actual price so uh, I'll show you guys all this stuff um, this was like the last place I was going to, so I'm really happy that that really made the day, um, some of the stuff I got here, so, and, uh, anyway, I'm not going to talk too much, I'll, I'll tell you guys about it in the post. It's, mostly have my name on it. Oh yeah, I see that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all the games work. But the console has like a little thing in the back that still works, it's like a chip or something. Oh, uh crack like it's it's pretty bad <laughs> not gonna lie like here it is oh wow okay <laughs> it still works believe it or not though yeah mm -hmm. i tried it i can test it again because no well, that's all right it comes with all the wires and two controllers i'll try to find the stuff sure Hey, what's up guys? I am back from the yard sales. Today was a great day. I am so happy with uh, today's finds. Started the day off, I was not feeling confident at all. Um, before we get into the yard sales, uh, I do have some pickups, some midweek pickups that I'm going to show you guys. I got a call back uh, from somebody at a yard sale several weeks ago. I'm going to show that off first and then I got a nice pickup yesterday and then we'll get into the yard sale stuff. Uh, my camera did die on me, so there is some things in here that you probably didn't see, so stay tuned for that. <clears throat> but without further ado, I'm just going to get into uh, the midweek pickup. Got a callback for some GameCube games. I've got... Uh, where are they? Oh, they're right here in front of me. So much stuff to show. So much stuff. Uh, I've got what one two three four uh, six GameCube games. Uh, I guess I'll show this off first. We've got uh, Scooby Doo Unmasked. Okay. Save the good one here for the last. Uh, we got Star Wars the video game. The only game here that has the manual is Scooby Doo. Everything else is just box and game. Fortunately, 
just about all the games are in really good shape, so there's that. Star Wars The Original Trilogy. I don't know, maybe this one has manual? No, okay. Uh, we also got Happy Feet. And the two good ones here, we've got Mario Party 7. Yeah, this it doesn't have manual, this is like part of the info, but the game is there and it's in really good shape. Uh, so Mario Party 7, I didn't have, very happy to pick that up. And it also came with the, uh, the little microphone too. And uh, I think the most expensive one out of the, out of the group here is Pokemon XD. Pokemon XD. So there it is. Disc is in really good shape, but no manual again. Um, got a call back. He asked how much I'd be willing to pay for them. He had a few other games too. He had some 360 games. I'm uh, just not interested in 360. There was nothing there that interested me. Um, so I gave him a fair offer. I said five bucks a game. So I gave him 30 bucks for these, uh, these six games. Usually I would try and get a little lower. I don't usually offer like $20 for them, especially I could have used that they didn't, you know, they didn't have all the booklets. So that lowers the value, but he took the time to dig the stuff out and give me a call back. Uh, so $30 is still a phenomenal pickup. Uh, these two games alone, even without the manual, uh, will run 60 bucks. So if not more to the right person. So that was a good pickup, nothing crazy, but a lot goes, actually uh, all of those go to the collection. So go right on the wall. Then yesterday uh, I got a really solid deal. I didn't want to pick it up. I thought, well, you know, if I don't use it, I can trade it to somebody or sell it and make a profit for sure. Without further ado, I'll just show you guys. I got myself a Wii U system. It is the Mario Kart uh, pre-installed version, uh, 32 gigs, mint condition. They bought it at Christmas time for his son. Uh, his son is, I, I want to say in his teens or something, didn't think it was cool enough or whatever, so they ended up getting him an Xbox One and uh, they, they never play this. I opened this up, I'm not going to do it right now, but when you open it up, things are still like wrapped up. Um, it is just, I mean, you look at the box here and you just know that this thing is in great shape. So yeah, I got that and uh, came with the Mario wired uh, fight pad. Looks like, once again, barely used. There it is. And also came with uh, some games. We have got uh, Marvel Super Heroes. Sorry if the light is doing its thing. I'll get down here looking good. I'm getting some lighting installed right above me, guys, so that the light will come down and it'll look much nicer. Just bear with me. Um, we got Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. And the two good ones, we've got Super Mario Maker. Uh, this is definitely a game I'm gonna play on stream. Can't wait to play this. It's, it's the only game for the Wii U that I've been desperately wanting to play, uh, especially since a lot of you guys know me from like, I want to beat the Boshi and stuff games. So just going on some really hard levels and doing that would be a lot of fun. It's got like the art book and everything in there. It's really nice or uh, the idea book included. So there's that. All these games are in absolute pristine shape. And last but not least, we've got another heavy hitter Super Smash Bros. Uh, for the Wii U. Everything is complete in box. So anyway, I saw the ad up for $250, which is still a pretty good deal. I offered $200 and they accepted. So I got myself a Wii U system, pretty much brand new, and uh, all these games and the controller for $200. I was thinking to myself, well, Worst case, I sell it all for like 350. I make 150 bucks, but I don't have a Wii U. I don't really care for the Wii U at all, but um, worst case, I just keep it. So I'm not actively going out trying to sell it, but if I see an ad on Kijiji or Craigslist of somebody wanting a Wii U, I may offer it to them. Um, I'm not collecting Wii U games. I just have zero interest in it, but for $200, <laughs> 
I, I had I had to pull the trigger, guys. And we're talking two hundred Canadian dollars. I mean, that's that's very low. That's that's a that's a really really good deal. All right, so. There's that. Those were the pickups, um, the midweek pickups. Now for today, I had like no leads. I had one person say they had um, some Xbox 360 and Nintendo DS stuff. I went there. I don't know if I'm going to put in the footage or not, but <clears throat> they had a bunch of all sports titles. And then I asked if they had any other games and they said somebody was already there 20 minutes beforehand. And I was already 15 minutes early. Um, which sometimes just not enough and they've ended up buying like 20 or 22 games so I thought well this is gonna be a bad day it's not a good way to start the day and it was my only lead so I went around for about another hour okay it was like nine o'clock I found this game which is cars for the DS got it for uh, 50 cents and I literally just bought this to have something because I I had nothing and I just wanted to make myself feel better but for 50 cents, I got that. A little bit more time went on, and eventually I hit a sale that uh, had some video games. And it was this one right here. I ended up getting a GameCube. Surprising uh, to see the, very surprised to see Zelda, the collector's edition, uh, actually not in terrible shape at all. There's some minor scratches, but this will definitely work. Uh, this is a really expensive game. Unfortunately, no box. I already have this game complete in box, so it'll be nice to bundle uh, a GameCube with and, you know, get $20 for that, basically. Um, so, yeah, got the GameCube, came with a, a black memory card. No controllers, got all the hookups. I'm not going to show you those. Uh, also came with... What else did I get from him? Yep, right here. Spyro Enter the Dragon, GameCube, The Incredibles, uh, Sonic Riders, uh, found out that it's not actually Sonic Riders, there is the case and manual, um, oh it is Sonic Riders, never mind, okay, it is Sonic Riders, so Sonic Riders is in there, but the manual is for Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Totally different game, but I got the box and game for Sonic Riders, but Sonic 2 Adventure Battle is the manual. Uh, also got Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, which uh, no manual. Got a copy of Mario Kart, no manual. And uh, Grand Theft Auto uh, Liberty City Stories. Got the manual in there, so complete. And a copy of 007 for N64. I know, very random. I asked him if he had any other N64 games on the console. He had nothing. Um, he was looking for 25 bucks for all the games. He had some more PS2 stuff there. And I asked him how much for the uh, GameCube system. He wanted 20 bucks. So I ended up getting the GameCube system uh, with the Zelda inside there. Uh, all these games for $25. So, I mean, that's an absolute steal. Um, and I just dropped the 007. Um, I, absolute steal. I'll, I'll sell the GameCube. Um, I have an extra controller here. I'll sell the GameCube with the Zelda and uh, like a double. I think now I have a double of the Spyro game. Uh, and, you know, I'll, I'll put that up for like 50 bucks, 40, 50 bucks. Probably put it up for 50 and get 40 for it. But anyway, I'm definitely going to make my money back. Uh, Mario Kart, I'll end up selling for $10. I have three or four copies of this now. Uh, I just sold one this week. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I got rid of my San Andreas copy, so I'll add that to the wall. Because the one that I had wasn't a black label. So not bad at all for $25. And then uh, went to another sale and got this box of Wii stuff. Uh, there's definitely footage of this. Guy had uh, this box of Wii stuff. I didn't bother asking him if he had... Uh, actually, I, I don't know if I did or if I didn't. It was one of those sales where it wasn't at, at his house. It was like a, a small community getting together in, in an area at the end of a street or something. And uh, so when they do that, I hate going to flea markets and stuff because if they have games, they can't go inside and grab them. And if you leave your number, chances are they're never going to call you back. Um, but... I got this box of Wii stuff. It's 
It's got like a charging a charging station here uh, with the wire, uh, two chucks, two controllers, two of the Mario thingy bobbers, all the hookups, uh, the sensor. Super Mario Bros, that wasn't in the case when I got it, but I came home and turned it on the Wii and it was inside, so that's that's great. These things sell for 20 bucks all day, $15 if you want to be generous. Uh, and then I got another copy of Mario Kart complete in box, 15 bucks right there. And uh, I got Star Wars Unleashed, uh, Force Unleashed, I don't have that, so it'll be added to the wall. And also got uh, Final Fantasy, uh, the Crystal Barriers. I don't know, never heard of it. I heard it sucks, but got that as well. That'll go onto the wall, and it was complete in box too. So I got this whole box for thirty bucks. I uh, can't beat that. I sold the Wii for fifty-five dollars two days ago, and that just came with like four ship box games and one Mario Galaxy. So you know, this box right here. Well, I'll be keeping the Final Fantasy and the Star Wars, but I paid thirty bucks for it. Uh, the Wii and the Mario Bros and the Mario Kart, we're looking at 60 bucks. So I'll make, I'll, I'll double my money there and get a couple games for the collection. And, and that money that I make pays for that last GameCube bundle that I just showed you. So it's just the game. It's, it's a game of uh, the grind. It's the grind. Um, okay, up next, there's more guys and it, it only gets better. Uh, I ended up going to a sale that had some Xbox games. I think there was some small footage of that. Uh, I asked her, the camera died on me, and I asked her how much the games were. She said a dollar each. And uh, I ended up just, I knew I wanted this one here, which is Myst. Um, Revelation. I had this game years ago. It's complete in box. Kind of rare, too. It's not worth that much. I think it's worth like $15. And these other two games are two shit boxes. Unreal 2, The Awakening, that's a super common game. And The Sims, also super common. So uh, I, I really just wanted this. I got three games for two bucks. Not bad. Two dollars. All three of those games will go on the wall. Uh, and then I went to another sale. I guess I'll go to this one next. Went to this yard sale and my my... I, I managed to get a little bit of a charge on my camera, so there might be small clips and stuff. Get to this sale, and I see a bunch of games. PS3, PS3 games, uh, PS1 games, all kinds of shit. And then I see this, which you guys probably can't make it out from there. Uh, Pokemon uh, Crystal. Very, very good shape label for a dollar. It had dollar on it. I was like, whoa, okay, here we go. So obviously I grabbed that for a dollar. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to sell this like that for 30 bucks. Um, and then I saw things like a Game Boy Color with $10 on it, which is not, you know, a very appetizing price. And then I started seeing PlayStation 1 games with $10 each on them and shit. So I went and asked them, I said, you know, how much are your games? Like, are these, are these the actual prices? They're like, no, 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 those aren't the prices. Uh, we just, my mom didn't know how much the stuff was worth, so they were just sticking t uh, tick, uh, stickers on there. And uh, he said, just get a bunch of games and make me an offer. So I got myself the Game Boy, or the, I'm sorry, Pokemon Crystal. I can't even talk right now. Pokemon Crystal, uh, the Super Mario Bros. 3 for the Game Boy Advance, which also had a dollar on it. Uh, I got a Game Boy Color. Unfortunately, there's no backing to it, and I don't even know if it works yet. I haven't tested it. I probably should have done that before this video. But anyway, got that. I'm sure it does. Uh, and then I got uh, this, these stacks of games here, which I'm going to show off. Uh, we got ourselves a complete, and cop a complete and box copy of Worms World Party for PlayStation 1. All right, I'm back. Sorry, the uh, memory card filled up on me. I forgot to wipe it from last time. I'm um, just going to go over these very quickly again. Uh, we got Worms World Party. Twisted Metal 3. It's a good one. It's all for PS1. Uh, we got a collector's edition of Crash Bash. These are all complete in box, by the way. Collector's edition of Crash Bandicoot Warped. Uh, v Rally 2 Need for Speed. And uh, Spyro Year of the Dragon. So I got all those PS1 games, those two Game Boy games, the Game Boy Color, and these as well. 
I got uh, Crash Bandicoot, uh, The Wrath of Cortex. Cortex? And this is complete in box. Uh, also got, an, man, I've been getting a lot of Spyro games. Uh, I got Spyro Hero's Tale, complete in box. Game that I was looking for, happy I found it. It's not complete, just got the game and, and uh, case. Uh, Dark, or Demon Souls, sorry, Demon Souls for the PS3. Got uh, The Sims Bustin' Out. <laughs> complete in box. And I got another copy of Crash Bandicoot Warp of the Cortex, but it's not actually the game. Mario Double Dash is in there. Mario Kart Double Dash, which is an expensive one. And another game for the PS1, Tomb Raider 3. Uh, just the disc there, and it's not even the proper case, but uh, we've got the... Uh, it's basically just the manual for the game. So yeah, I got all those games. All those PS1 games, all those GameCube games, Pokemon games, Game Boy Color, 25 bucks. <laughs> Let's go. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Alright, so this brings us to the last pickup of the day, and it is definitely the best pickup, and the unexpected pickup, which is always that much better. Uh, I was on my way out, I was done yard sales for the day, I had already had a pretty successful day, as you can already see, so I was happy. And I was on my way out to, uh, to look at a house that was on foreclosure or something. And uh, I was like, okay, well, I'll go take a look at the house. It was like a 15-minute drive. So I went out to the house, and on my way there, uh, I saw another yard sale in that neighborhood. So I had to pull over and check. So I get out. There's no games at all. I think there's a little bit of footage. My camera, once again, was dying off and on. Um, I really got to learn to turn off my camera in between yard sales because I'm in such a rush that I just sometimes forget. Um, but anyway, I asked uh, these kids. There was, there was, the mother was there. There was no games out. Two kids were sitting there, looked to be about 13 years old or so. Uh, and I said, hey, do you guys have any video games for sale? And they're like, yeah, I got some of those in the house. And uh, he's like, what are you looking for? So I went down the list of stuff. And he said, oh, I got GameCube. So I was like, great, I'll take a look at your GameCube stuff. He goes inside, he comes back out, and he comes out with a box of Super Nintendo stuff, which is even better. Um, so I'll show you, uh, show you the Super Nintendo stuff. And then when he brought this up and I was looking at it, he said, let me go get the GameCube stuff as well. So I was like, wow, okay, there's GameCube stuff as well. Cool. I'll show you off the GameCube stuff first. Have a GameCube, got all the wires, they're just down there, I'm not going to show them. Inside there was uh, Tony Hawk's um, American Wasteland, no box or anything like that. Uh, and also a copy of the Crash Bandicoot Warp of the Cortex. I know this is the third time I've shown this game. I made a mistake, the last deal there was only that one copy of this with the Mario Dash in it. This one actually came from this bundle, so um, got that, the GameCube, no controllers, but I got all the hookups, and then uh, the Super Nintendo. So the Super Nintendo is in god-awful shape. It sounds like Santa Claus is coming, listen. <laughs> it is yellowed to shit, it's... Okay, uh, and also look at the chunk that is out of this. When he brought this out, I was like, dude, I don't even want this. Like, they're like, how much you want? Uh, how much you willing to pay for everything? I'm like, dude, I don't even want this. Like, I didn't want them putting a $30 or $40 value on this. Believe it or not, guys, the shit works. I plugged it in, it works. Um, the good thing about this is I can keep this one and sell my test. Whoa, I almost dropped it. Like it would have mattered. Um, I can sell my test machine. I do have an extra one. Like I have one of these complete in box already, but I have another one right behind me on the shelf. Um, I could sell that one now and just keep this as like a test system. So I guess there's that value so I can sell something. Um, but it works. So I got that. Came with two controllers and all the hookups. So the two controllers and hookups alone uh, are worth money. But the good stuff, the good stuff, 
are the video games. Now, I will say I haven't had time yet to clean these video games. Uh, Magic Eraser will get rid of the crayon that's on here, um, and a lot of them are just dirty. But I'm going to show you off the games that I got. We got Super Mario All-Stars, which is, which is a good one and expensive. Uh, we got Mortal Kombat, which I don't have. I don't have the original Mortal Kombat. I think I have two up there. Maybe, yeah, I know I at least have two up there. So there's that. So that'll go into the collection. Also got uh, Goof Troop. Or, uh, Goof, yeah, Goof Troop. Uh, I looked this one up. It's about a $20 cart. I don't have it, so that's going to go in the collection. Save that one for the end. Got a copy of uh, Super Mario World. Just dirty, that's all. He got Ryan, that was the name of him. Uh, name of the kid. He just got him in crayon, but that shit comes right out. So Super Mario World, that's good. It's a good bundler. Uh, another game that I didn't have is Roadrunner. Uh, Death Valley Rally. So we got that one too, going to the collection. Another one here, definitely in the worst condition. Uh, Williams Arcade's Greatest Hits. Shitbox. Don't have it. It'll go up there. Uh, another one that I didn't have, which is great. I mean, a lot of this stuff I didn't have, so this is good for the collection. Uh, Battle Cars. It's like a $20 game. Battle Cars. Looks kind of cool, too. I might try to. And definitely, by far, the best... The best game with, and in the best shape too. I mean, the label is great. I'm gonna change the backing on it because the backing is a little yellowed out, but that, that's an easy, uh, easy fix. Just two screws. Um, Super Mario All Stars with the Super Mario World. This is a pretty sought after version. Uh, pretty damn rare and pretty damn expensive. I see them going 50, 60 bucks even uh, on eBay. And uh, I know a lot of people here locally are looking for this, and guess what? It's not for sale. Going right into the collection. So I got the GameCube, those two games, the Super Nintendo, even though it's fucked, uh, all the hookups, two controllers, and all of these Super Nintendo games for $35. Funny little story, though. While I was there, um, they, they, she, the mom said 35 bucks. And so, you know, you know me, I, I tried to get a little bit cheaper. I was like, well, would you just take 30? Because I had a, a 20, I had, I had like a, a 20 and a 10. I didn't have a 5 on me. So I was like, um, will you take 30? And as I was saying that, there was this guy that came up around. He saw all the Super Nintendo shit laying out. And he said, uh, how much did you say? And I, and I was like, yeah, dude, I already bought it, right? I, I told him, like, it's, I, I'm, I'm already getting this. Like, he was, he was cramped my style. So, um, but he was like, yeah, can I just see the games? I'm like, no, dude, I, I bought them. You can see them when I'm done buying them. Um, and so at that point, I just gave her 35 bucks or I gave her 40 and she had to go in the house and get change. So I ended up paying 35 bucks for it. Um, and then, uh, and then the guy, the guy was making some weird, like I could tell the guy wanted the stuff and the kid was like, well, I got some Xbox 360 games. And he was like, no, no, I only collect the older stuff. And, um, and then he, he was like, so how much you pay for that, right? And he was saying it out loud. And I literally told dude to piss off. I said, dude, piss off, right? Because I know what he was trying to do. He was trying to, he, he knew how much I was paying for it. And I know he was going to go in there and try and snake and say, I'll give you 50 bucks or something like that. So um, I had to make the quick, the, the quick pull and, and pay 35 bucks for it. There was no bargaining at all. Um, I probably could have got it a little bit cheaper, but $35, absolute steal anyway. But uh, had to pull the trigger on that, or that guy might have been might have ruined the the deal for me. So that fuck boy can uh, can piss off somewhere. And if he watches my video, eat a dick, buddy. You, you don't do that shit. If I, I I've been to yard sales before at flea markets where people are looking at games and I hear them and their prices and I want to get in there and I want to like say, hey dude, I'll give you more. But uh, you you just don't do that shit. You, you weren't there. You you have to wait until um, I'm done or that person's done doing their dealings and then you get the scraps. That's what happens when you're a fuckboy and you don't get the yard sales too early. So, as you can tell, I'm still a little salty about it because it's just greasy, man. It's just greasy. But anyway, enough of that. That was my day. I know this is probably a long post video. Don't care. I had a lot of stuff to show off. A lot of this stuff is going on the wall. Really, really happy about it. Got myself a Wii U. Got a bunch of PlayStation games. I'm going to make my money back just like that. And speaking of money... Let's talk about the totals here. Let's uh, make this uh, make this quick. 
So up on the screen right now, if you guys are new to the channel, I post uh, how much money I've spent on my total collection and uh, how much money I've managed to recoup by selling my doubles or things that I don't collect for. Uh, this week in particular, I sold $520 worth of stuff and I ended up buying $312 worth of stuff. That includes the stuff I got today and the $200 that I spent on the Wii U. So, um, still a very profitable uh, week. $208 getting added on there to uh, knock back some of our costs. And I've got a bunch of stuff here that I can sell, like the GameCubes, the Wii. I'll recoup, uh, you know, with the stuff here and the Super Nintendo games, and now I can bundle another 200, and 200 to $250. So hopefully this time next week I'll have another good update for you guys. But uh, really, really solid week of yard sales. Give you guys an update on the comics. Went through all the comics, priced out every single one of them. Uh, went to three different comic book stores. The highest offer I got was $300. Uh, ended up selling everything privately for $350. There was only two comics in the entire lot that were worth money. One of them substantially so. Uh, it was the first appearance of Deadpool in the New Mutants, which goes anywhere from $200 to $1,000, depending on the condition. The condition of the one that I had was near mint. It just wasn't graded or anything like that. Um, I ended up just selling everything for $350. Didn't want to go through the trouble of sending it out to Florida or wherever to get it graded and all this other nonsense. Um, and when I had, I had five different people look at all the comics, the highest offer I got was $325. So I managed to, I was trying to get $400, I managed to get them up to $350 and Bob's your uncle. Off that yard sale last Saturday, I made almost $500 off that sale alone. So really, really awesome week last week and this week, guys. What did you guys get this week uh, for your grinds? Let me know in the, uh, in the comment section below. Make sure to finger bang that like button. It really does go a long way. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Go check out my other videos. If you're new to the channel, there are tons of retro video stuff posted over the last uh, three and a half months or so, how, however long I've been doing this. Been having a lot of fun. The channel's been growing a lot, a lot of new subscribers. Uh, the videos are starting to get more views, and I've got some really cool stuff around the corner for you. Is I'm, start, I'm starting up a Facebook group for gamers all around the world where we're going to be able to show off the stuff we get. We're going to be able to uh, sell some things, trade, have just discussions. I'm going to be doing weekly giveaways that I'll be telling you guys about in these videos and giving them away through the Facebook group uh, along with uh, some other little cool things I'm going to be doing there as well. Uh, I've got a nice little team of moderators and right now we're planning up the uh, Facebook group. I should have more information for you guys uh, either mid this week or by next Saturday's yard sales. The yard sale season is... Camera just died again. Uh, the yard sale season is coming to an end so I am now trying to work out some cool retro content that I can give you guys throughout the winter season, whether it would be an in-depth review of a specific game. Um, I'll still be updating you guys with my uh, Facebook and Kijiji Craigslist finds, so on and so forth, flea markets, stuff like that, um, but it's obviously not going to be as uh, cool as this. I will definitely take my spy glasses out and find some, you know, find some things in the wild, you know, thrift stores, all that other stuff. I'll try and make uh, some really cool content while we're on the off season as I am in Canada and it gets cold as shit and no one has yard sales here in the winter season. But fingers crossed that we get another month of yard sales. So um, I I've rambled on enough. I've shown you guys all my stuff that I got this week. Once again, hit that like button, subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Stay bugs. Let's fucking go! Let's go, we can. Oh, shit, let me turn this off here. Oh my god. I don't know what kind of score I just got, guys, but...